Hi, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. I hope you're having a great day. I've gone ahead and made a short presentation about niacin, about how and how or if it even helps to create a healthier heart for you and help lower cholesterol levels. I'll quickly go over some reviews about niacin and then talk about um, some facts, some myths, and important health warnings as well. And the whole point of me doing this presentation is I believe there's just so much misinformation online these days, right? You go search on Google, you get a, millions of websites. So my goal is to help reduce your confusion and help give you some clarity. So let's get started. The very first question is what is niacin and how effective is it for lowering cholesterol? Uh, niacin is also uh, known as a vitamin B3. Uh, it's 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 healthy when used at normal dosages, such as 20 to 60 milligrams daily, and uh, it's great for energy production and fat metabolism. Now, a lot of experts, including cardiologists, heart doctors, they are prescribing niacin at very high dosages to help lower the bad cholesterol, known as LDL. Now, the crazy part is they're prescribing it at three thousand milligrams daily normal dose again is 20 to 60 they're prescribing it at 3,000 milligrams the question is does it work and then second question is is it even safe at such a high dose well there's been many studies done and over half in fact as much as 67 percent of people that even at 3,000 milligrams of niacin or more of daily use it doesn't help lower cholesterol levels okay so that's one thing I want to let you know additionally the other form of vitamin B3 which is niacinamide does not work at all so this is your very first warning that if you get niacinamide don't even bother taking it because it doesn't work so now the other question is is niacin a safe alternative to cholesterol lowering drugs because obviously you know cardiologists are prescribing it now as stated already 67 percent of users at even this extreme high dose of 3,000 milligrams a day which is hundred and fifty times higher than the recommended daily allowance it still does not work and for those that it does help lower cholesterol the remaining 33 percent most people experience just a ton of side effects including flushing right headaches and 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 stomach aches and in addition to these side effects, you you have major health problems, and I'll get to in a second, and which is at, at this really high dose, which is why it's only prescribed and should only be used under a doctor's supervision. In fact, at the 3,000 milligram dose, which I said has a lot of potential problems, it's only a prescription drug and under the name of Niaspam. Okay, so this is only doctor prescribed. Now, with that said, my second warning to you is that the main problem with the high-dose niacin at 3,000 milligrams is the chronic toxicity issue that can lead to very serious consequences such as liver damage, diabetes, uh, eye damage, and gout, just to list a few. In fact, many people are just not able to continue taking these levels of niacin due to the discomfort or the danger to the health. And at such a high dose, your body will now create an imbalance to all your other B vitamins and minerals, which then leads to even more problems. Now, the problem is, okay, so you want to use it at, at the lower dosages, which are normal healthy dosage of 20 to 60 milligrams, it does nothing, right? And at the extreme high prescription dose at 3,000 milligrams, for only 33% of the people, it works, it helps lower uh, your LDL for 67% even at the super high dose it doesn't work and then for those who do take it long term it leads to a ton of side effects and liver problems so personally I would never recommend anyone to use niacin for cholesterol reduction so you know the next question is alright what's what's the best solution what's the safest solution of niacin isn't it I'll be honest with you there is no one single ingredient that works a hundred percent is effective forever for every single person especially you know and this includes the niacin or any single herb or nutrient now just think about it you just don't eat only broccoli for the best health right you you mix it with other vegetables other forms of vegetables different colors fruits and so forth so that's the same thing in, in life in fact research has shown that there are about a dozen clinically proven natural ingredients that help dramatically improve cholesterol levels far better and much safer than niacin. And I'll go ahead and listen to you right now. 
One of the very first and best ones is red yeast rice. Okay, you need to make sure you get one of the best qualities, which is at 2.5% extract. There's a patented formula ingredient called citronelle. There's also CoQ10, which is great for your heart. There's polycosinol. There's garlic extract. There's Google sterones. There's artichoke leaf extract and also phytosterol complex. So these ingredients are great. They work. Make sure whatever product you get contains these ingredients. There's also two very important factors I'd like to discuss. Whatever product you get, make sure it contains a liver cleansing formula. And this is very important because your liver is where cholesterol problems all start. In fact, 80% of your cholesterol is made in the liver. The healthier your liver, the stronger the liver the better it can detoxify cholesterol and get it out of your system. So that's very important. And the second uh, ingredient or formula you want in whatever product you select is something called homocysteine levels, a, a formula that helps reduce homocysteine levels. And most people don't know, but homocysteine is a 43% better indicator, more accurate indicator of predicting heart disease than cholesterol levels alone. So whatever product you, you, you select, Whatever product you pick, make sure that it contains those ingredients that I mentioned. Make sure it contains a liver cleansing formula and something that helps reduce homocysteine levels. Now, at this point, there's just so many options. And I agree, there's just so many products all claiming to do the same thing. And this is what happened with my own parents about 10 years ago. Um, they were on statin drugs, which caused them all sorts of uh, problems. And I got them off the drugs, and I needed a product that worked, and I found Coleslo. Okay, this product, it, it, you know, it, it's convenient, it's easy to take, it combines everything I already mentioned into one easy pill. It's, it'll save you money, it'll save you time, and the feedback on it is amazing. You can go ahead and, in fact, scroll down this page. You can take a look at the, the, the before and after blood test with hundreds and hundreds of users. You can, you can listen to their audio reviews. And again, before and after blood test, people, you can actually see how much their heart ratios have improved, their cholesterol, their triglycerides, your LDL, HDL levels. And this is the same thing that can happen for you. My parents have been using cholesterol for over 10 years. It's because it uses clinically proven ingredients, organic. So what I suggest is you scroll down, take a look at what everything that I've already mentioned. Uh, you can look at the, the blood test from users, but ultimately give Coleslo a try, right? Give it a try, see how it works for you, and then email me the feedback. Email, you, email me your blood test. I'd like to see how well it worked for you and how much dramatic you know, improvements you've made in your own cholesterol levels. Go ahead and give cholesterol a try. Let me know how it works. And ultimately, do something now because the situation is not going to get better on its own. Aging and stress only makes it worse. So give it a try. Give cholesterol uh, a, a try. Let me know how it works for you. And again, thanks for listening. Stay happy and healthy and have a fantastic day.